Okay, apologies for the uh, losing the voice at the moment, but uh, I know people are keen to see what's in the box. Um, excuse the mess of the patio between the laser cutter and a few other projects on the go at the moment. I'm running out of space. Uh, currently, yeah, it's uh, nearly three o'clock local time here. We're down to a mere 37.2, so it's uh, less than pleasant here, but let's get into it. Um, the box here is the uh, AD5X, so uh, without further ado, let's get into it. As usual, um, I've always found the flash forwards pack things very well. Um, I won't say Corey approved because I don't know anything is. First thing we have is how to install the display screen. Um, quick start guide, and then we're into the uh, nuts and bolts, so shall we say. Well, two pieces of foam, and then we can lift that out, which is going to be a bit of fun. I'll move that down on the chair because it will be a bit easier for me. But uh, hopefully, you'll be able to see that. At the moment, I've got this mounted up on a shelf, so it's not much fun. Further ado, let's open it up and have a look. power cord. Now this clip I'll work out in due course what it's for. I think it may be to do with the screen. And these possibly, maybe, I know they've got um, PTFE tubes in it so there'll be something to do with the assembly. Uh, tool wise Let's see what we get. Okay, as usual, we have the different Allen keys and screwdriver, grease, screws, a good pair of side cutters, they never supply junk on that. This is the bow tool. Um, which people forget what it's called, but that's it. And some 3D printing adhesive bottle. So that's what's in the bag that comes in there. The next level down is to start pulling stuff out. Um, I'll take this off the bag. And move stuff to the, to the side. This is the, what's known as the poop chute, which is what caused all the delay with stuff sticking in that apparently. Um, anyway, turn it around and see how we go. Uh, there is Bit of tape there. And everything's pretty much packed. It's just going to be a question of working out the jigsaw as to which way. Well, that came off easy, so I've got to assume that's about right. Um, sliding out the middle section. 
is the uh, obviously some multicolour tubes. That's the combination head. The cable to talk to the little box. The box that does all the the fancy stuff. And presumably one, two, three, four is the spore holders. And that would then tell me the other one without a number is also a spore holder. Any further in is a plate which by the looks is for that. So to that point that piece of packing is now empty, is out of the way and now I'm able to take the big chunk down that's uh, all packed, yeah, that's solid so uh, as I said they really do pack stuff well and when I move the head forward I can get that block out from behind the back and that's pretty much heading where we're going I'm seeing one two three four labelled and here, which would be the, fil the filament holder, so uh, oh, right, sorry, that's three, four that way. So presumably this one is just a spare. Um, what I'm not seeing anywhere is spare nozzles. So I think that's one of the first things you order in case one jams. As they do not ship with spare nozzles. Okay, I'll uh, pause the video for a second and uh, read up on the next part of the assembly so that I don't waste your time online reading and doing stuff. Okay, there's a triangular bracket here, which of course when you take your Phillips head screwdriver to it, you'll always find it's the Allen key, but that's fine. It is the middle sized Allen key to undo this. mounted out of harm's way is the 85X screen. So we'll just work out. Alright, it looks like they go there and click to the side. So that's the screen mount, that's pretty simple. And I'll just uh, finish taking off the, the bracket because it's not needed there. I like the way that packed to uh, make that secure and out, out of a place of damage. So with that done, 
and removing all the bits and pieces. This now clicks in. Clicks upright. And the, uh, the feed here looks like it goes from there to there, so, so which one's which? Not even sure it and four tubes to go in there. No particular order. Then we're down to pretty much just the data cable to click center at the back and around to here to talk to the machine. And there's not a lot else, so uh, that's not a hard one to assemble. I'll uh, turn it off rather than waste too much time for you. Okay, yes, I've turned it around slightly. Um, that's only so you can see the right. Um, the right thing. There's a little bracket here for that cable. To uh, sit to. Apart from loading up, testing and all that, that is pretty much the assembly. I will, of course, build plates locked down. So now I'll take this off the, the bracket. When I look in here, it shows three locking screws. One there, the silver one there that corner and there. So those three have to be unlocked to allow the plate to move because it's locked down for transit. Um, but you don't need to see me unscrewing that so I'll stop it for that. So uh, when we zoom in where the screw had to come out there's an arrow to show you where the screw is. So another arrow there to show where the screw is. And the third one over here. Apologies for the help. So they're labelled as to find the three screws. That's it. That's it done. Um, all that's got to happen now, apart from peel the plastic off, is move the AD5 Pro because that's where it's going to sit between the uh, Prusa over there and the bamboo also multiple colour printers and I'll uh, start setting up so I can do a head to head and give you a honest opinion as to the amount of um, waste or lack thereof um, and, uh, and the printing time so uh, then you can have an idea where it fits into your mix if you're doing lots of multicolour these things are important and no one seems to be telling us any answers, which is a bit annoying.